Ladies and gentlemen, go get the droids. This is not a drill. Report the battle stations and get ready to activate the dark troopers. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. Gary, you're getting a rework. Derek's getting a rework. And we're getting the beloved dark troopers. Oh, It's here, ladies and gentlemen. Gungans and droids across our beloved empire. Dark Troopers officially no longer connecting the dots and tinfoil hat speculation like we've been doing for the past while. They are coming, the Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, as we see right here, to bring glory to the Empire. The Dark Troopers will usher in a new Imperial Remnant faction tag that we talked about the other day and bring back the new Dark Trooper squad buff to the holotables, which mimics the squad-based deployment seen in the Mandalorian. Dark Troopers can also dole out advantage turn meter and offense up to allies while giving itself increased defense and more survivability and Gary! Alongside the Dark Trooper, Moff Gideon, Death Trooper, and Stormy will be given the Imperial Remnant tag with the latter two receiving kit touch-ups, making them even more powerful within their new faction. And it is coming to Star Wars Galaxy Heroes as a marquee event. What? Dang! You're getting a nice coat of fresh paint, and that Zade is going to come in handy. Let me just hop straight over. Let's just hop straight over to the FAQ before we get to the death. <sighs> the death trooper and the, just, just follow, just follow with me. No, I was not in my carbonite sleep. I, you were carbonite sleeping while this was going on right here. Here we go. Imperial Remnant Tag is going to be added to Moff Gideon Stormtrooper Death Trooper. Stormtrooper's unique Wall of Stormtrooper Zeta. One of the trashiest Zetas of all time, but I gave it to him. I'm no bandwagoner. I've had the Zeta since literally the first year of Zetas because I'm a loyal imperialist. Has been updated to provide bonus protection to all Imperial Remnant allies at the start of his turns. And every Stormtrooper is an Imperial Remnant ally itself. Oh. We were speculating whether Death Trooper and Dark Trooper were, were or Death Trooper and Storm Trooper were gonna get it. They're getting it. We're not getting brand new units that we saw inside the Mandalorian. And Death Trooper, very soft touch-up, will now attack two times with this basic when there's an Imperial Remnant unit in the leader slot like Moff Gideon. I was really hoping they would revamp his unique ability so it's not tied to Director Krennic. They didn't! Missed opportunity! I'll, I'll complain about that a different day. Basic track down, deal physical damage to the enemy with a 70% chance of like days for three turns. If the target was already days, stun them for one turn. And if the target is a rebel or unit and the ally leader slides or Imperial Remnant attack a second time. Oh, again, I, I just, I, I was really pushing for years upon years to get Derek the Death Trooper's unique ability to get revamped. They didn't take the opportunity. I was really hoping they would allow this Zeta to work beyond director credit. Imagine Moth getting not being able to be critically hit while Death Trooper's alive and also allowing him to get bonus turn meter. Right now, this is way too constrained to director credit. Uh, it hurts my heart that they couldn't give these to Moth getting. But let's take a look at the brand new Dark Troopers coming to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Ah, look at all those lovely tags, Droid, Empire, Imperial Remnant, and it's also going to have the Imperial Trooper tag. I think there's going to be a lot of flexibility, but as we kind of expected, once the Imperial Remnant tag got leaked out, they were like, all right, there's, it's probably going to work best with the Imperial Remnant units out there. Let's take a look and see what we got. An Imperial Remnant attacker whose abilities are modified by the amount of Dark Troopers in the squad. It kind of gives me 
almost like a b1 battalion type of vibe let me show you what we got pneumatic punch with the basics just right to the face my friend deal physical damage to target enemy once for each stack of dark trooper squad i feel like we could have made a little bit better of a name for this new unique buff for him uh this ability can't critically unless the unit has advantage bombarding reinforcements with the cool down effect polygons look at all the polygon that's a really cool that's a really cool animation right there Still physical <laughs> look at the boys just dropping on in to help you smack some best card and they're pacing out afterwards zeta ability on the special deal physical damage to all enemies and if dark Trooper has three or more stacks of dark Trooper squad imperial remnant allies get advantage for two turns otherwise dark Trooper gains one stack of dark trooper squad and the perfect soldiers massive cooldown of five imperial trooper allies gain 10 percent turn meter it's not even just imperial remnants imperial trooper allies and they're already broken of turn meter gain 10 percent turn meter for each stack of dark trooper squad of the dark trooper and if the dark trooper has two or more stacks of dark trooper squad imperial remnant allies gain offense up for two turns otherwise imperial remnant allies gain offense up for one turn so imperial remnants are going to get a little bit more buffs but man still massive amounts of turn meter being pushed to already an imperial trooper squad and you know what i think this is not going to be a character we're going to want to use with imperial troopers of course he can be but i think that terminator is important for the imperial remnants because right now veers doesn't make a lot of sense in the imperial this upcoming imperial remnant faction what we have currently for uh moff gideon's leadership ability and plus there's not a lot of turn meter for the moff gideon team this is going to help you constantly get out there and with as many turns as possible and here's our unique one ability one and only dark trooper squad dark trooper has four stacks of dark trooper squad 25 percent of its base max health and max protection is immune to max health and max protection changes and can't be defeated or destroyed while it has more than one stack of dark trooper squad oh if the dark trooper would be defeated and while it has two or more stacks of dark trooper squ squad instead dispel all debuffs in it reduce the number of dark trooper squads by one and recover 100 health and protection and dark trooper has plus 25 demons for each stack of dark trooper squad it currently has and dark trooper can't be revived and can't be critically hit this sounds almost like the opposite of a b1 where the b1's extremely frail this is going to be a thick daddy boy I, I you know it's still kind of a b1 to a degree out there it's just not a hundred stacks you got four stacks to work with Ryder. man this seems like a lot of fun i don't quite know what we should expect out of this new faction right now because right now imperial troopers are doing an amazing job out there and this is a brand new faction that we're going to experiment and see what it can possibly do oh man it is so, looks so pretty look at how pretty they are gary let me hop forward to the game and talk a little bit about the characters we currently have as we just saw who gary getting a nice coat a fresh paint on himself but it's gideon's lead that we kept saying makes no sense he's been a great plug and play character for a couple months now i've been using him in so many things but tactical deployment has just made no sense and we saw dark troopers abilities a moment ago this zeta is looking to be a lot more valuable right now just look at the zeta ability alone if all allies are imperial troopers when an enemy uses uh, when an enemy with the leader tag use an ability allied imperial trooper allies gain 10 percent off in stacking and when an enemy with the leader tag takes turn off getting getting a sack of insight and then and additionally imperial troopers gain plus 40 percent offense Revive at 50% max health protection, which I believe that shouldn't apply to Dark Trooper based off that unique ability that we read. I could be incorrect. And uh, the first time they were defeated in the encounter. This could be a scary team of some sort. Is it going to be scarier than Imperial Troopers? Hard to say right now. There's going to be lots of damage, it seems like. Lots of durability, constant protection up, being fed through the Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper looks like it's going to be an important unit to use with this upcoming imperial remnant tag out there and 
You might be asking yourself, when is it coming out? I do not see any exact date in regards to when the this new marquee, the Dark Trooper, is coming to Star Wars Galaxies. My suspicion is, if we're seeing it today, it's going to happen on Thursday. And do I need to fill in the rest of the blanks too? This is the Empire. We're going to take this guy straight to the maximum level four in the name of the video gaming division here. So my suspicion is, again, don't hold me to it, but my suspicion is, oh, oh, Thursday, we're going to have a lot of fun. And I've been having a lot of fun lately in Galaxy Series, and the fun is going to keep on going, guys. Like this video to support your empire. Comment down below on all your thoughts. Get ready to activate the Dark Troopers. I'll see you later on this week for the testing. We're going to have a lot of fun in the meantime, but most importantly, on your way out, always remember, dang, it's great to be in the empire today. See you guys later.